We're here in London and bringing the show car for the first time to local primary schools, special schools and to, to colleges. With Bloodhound, the youngsters are really excited by it and are engaging with the programme. We're hoping to have uh, several hundred Bloodhound ambassadors helping to spread the word in local schools and colleges and helping to support youngsters' attainment around science, maths, engineering and technology. So, okay, the challenge then is to go at 1,000 miles an hour and to break the world land speed record. Now, at the moment, that record stands at 763 miles an hour, which is pretty quick, right? But 1,000 miles an hour is a whole lot more. It's been going really well, actually. We've got great response from all the schools that have come in and a huge range of kids. We've had kids from special schools, secondaries, primaries, and all really getting engaged in science that we're talking about. Can you see how the smoke is almost sort of clinging to the surface of the car now? It's much easier for it to flow past. I think they get two really important things out of it, actually. One is they get a chance to see and hear about some engineering that's happening right now, right this minute. And the other thing they get is a kind of big picture view of what they might be able to do in the future. You know, these are the next generation of engineers and scientists. So if we can inspire them, kind of grab their enthusiasm, their curiosity, they'll go away wanting to take it further. I think when you go down to that lorry and you see the show car there, that's just mind blowing. It's just to see the children's faces, they get so excited by seeing the show and then their faces, they come out of the gym and go straight to the Bloodhound car. That's fantastic. I find it very interesting and I think the maths and science behind it is very inspiring. We're trying to get youngsters back into engineering because they're seeing a lot of manufacturing companies that are saying we're running on short time, we're cutting production. It would be an amazing opportunity to actually work on the Bloodhound. I think that it might inspire me to go into a science or mathematics career when I'm older. I want to drive it. <laughs> <laughs> I want to as well. And the favourite thing about this event was coming to look at the car and the videos and the experiments we did. So it's all very exciting and it's the first place to happen in London where we've got pupils, we've got teachers and employers all brought together because of the inspiration of Bloodhound. We need to engage with more and more employers in the engineering motorsport areas to actually put Enfield on the map. It had a tremendous tradition in the 70s of lots of motor vehicle manufacturing. Clearly it's all moved on. This gives us a chance to talk to our learners, engage with learners on so many different levels. Well, as a member of staff at Southgate College, I think it's a fantastic thing. A uh, fantastic project, great that it's come here. There's been so much student interest, so many spin-offs as a respect of you know, the subject area that's covered. Um, students have, have really been fired up and motivated to continue with their subjects that they're doing here as a direct result of seeing the Bloodhound Roadshow today. I've, I've had students ask um, potentially offbeat questions but have been d directly related to um, you know, the technology involved with um, the car. Uh, which relates directly to the course that they're studying, which is motor vehicle courses. It's, it's very important to try and involve younger people, students, work experience, um, just because kids sometimes have the best ideas, so you can learn a lot from them. Um, and it's just important to have a bit of corporate social sort of aspect to the business, rather than just thinking about it as a money-making uh, enterprise all the time. I think it's really important to get stuff back have that many young people in one day or in two days over the, the course of this event um, engaging, getting excited, being inspired. Even if just a, a small percentage of those young people go on to follow that forward, they'll have had a great time at this event and they may have a career path for the future. Yeah, they don't care. They ask those questions that we're too scared to ask nowadays. So I think that's important. I think that they bring something, they bring that perspective that we've all lost, I guess, as we've got older. If we can inspire people to get involved in terms of partnership engagement, working with our employers, ensuring that we have a really cohesive approach to working with young people and, and sorting a future out for those young people, particularly in our technological industries, then we're on to a winner.